Hello YouTube! Today we will be installing a safety relief valve for this pressure vessel. This is a heat exchange. We're bringing steam through and heating water at this point. On this line, code is one valve between a safety relief and uh, the vessel being protected. So, in this particular case, we have three, one on the boiler, a solenoid, and a uh, ball valve, and that does not comply. First thing we'll do is slice away our relation around there, come over here, now we've cleared away sections that we don't want in there anymore and we're putting in schedule 80 T now our last little segment here we just have to come around a minor amount Making sure we're pretty straight. As always, you see how we haven't covered the beginning threads? Now, even more important in this case, because any pieces of that uh, tape and whatnot pipe dope anti sees in this case that gets pulled in will be able to junk up our workings inside of our valve and that will not be acceptable and we have a weep hole over here we want to make sure two things happen this isn't going to be able to release into the passageway it'll be piped to the ground and the weep hole, secondly, will not be able to uh, release as well into any workers that may be in the area. I have a path in mind through here. I'm going to stop where I anticipate to be just short of that. I've prepared our length to the floor here, hacked off the base, no threads, so as that it can never be capped off. So that this will be able to take off but it won't be hitting anybody in the leg or anything this is a, a code standard um, the length from the floor so if you find that your safety relief valve terminates here with the possibility of threading you're in violation if it terminates here and you're just going to blast the wall you're in violation if you have threads on the base of your piping, you're in violation. Don't be in violation. <laughs> 